Hey guys, this is Alex down at Castle Country RV in Helper, Utah. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Premier 30RI, or the 30 Ripper as we like to call it here. Starting right here on the front, some of the great things that they've got is they come standard with the power tongue jack from Keystone. And out here on the front, all their lights are white and amber colored. So those are DOT certified. So if you ever happen to leave your lights on cruising down the road, you're not gonna get pulled over for that. Down in here, you can't quite see it because of this big fiberglass rock guide that we've got on the front, but they've got a true battery disconnect in there. They like to call it a giggy box is what they call it. So the closer to the battery, the better that's gonna be. There's not gonna be cords running all the way down throughout the coach. And then stepping over here onto this side, They've got some of the largest pass-through storage doors in the industry. So they're nice and wide, so you can, you know, you can fit a whole kayak in there or a whole picnic table and get it in there through the whole way through. Pointing this out here, one thing that they do over the competitors is they have their key TV system. So that is gonna be direct home run lines run to every space where a TV can hook up. So you can be watching something separate with no splitters on the outside, the inside, and up in the bedroom. Why don't we actually go check out the outside kitchen while we're talking about it, huh? Here's that awesome outside kitchen area I was telling you about. In these, they do a really awesome thing. They put an Insignia TV out here that is hooked up to that key TV system we were just talking about. So you can run your cable lines and be watching TV while you're out here making dinner. You've got this awesome storage area with this nice slide out shelf that you can set up your little gas oven or something on to cook on out here. And you got this nice little inverted mini fridge. Now this one does have to be hooked up to shore power to work, but when you're hooked up to shore power, you can run everything on this coach. You got all three TVs, you got AC, you got furnace. Everything will work when you're hooked up to shore power so you're not losing anything. One other great thing that Bullet does over some of the competitors is their speakers, they're mounted on the outside of the wall. So instead of drilling a hole this big for your speaker, they're only drilling a hole this big for your wire. And as you know, water is the worst enemy when it comes to an RV. They also do a pinch roll process on their laminated side walls. Basically, they're squeezing their walls between two steam rollers to get full glue coverage on here so there's no chance of delamination on there. Why don't we take a look inside and look at some of the awesome stuff they do on the inside. Hey guys, welcome inside. Look at this awesome spacious kitchen you got here. You got an island right in the center here, and you do have solid surface countertops all throughout, so none of these are ever gonna peel up on the edges or anything like that. You got this nice big farmhouse style stainless steel sink. These are actual painted cabinets, so there's no veneer here on the inside that's ever gonna peel off. These are gonna stay the same color the whole time you own the coach. You got a Furion microwave, stove and cooktop here so you got the three burners and the nice gas oven underneath here as well and over here we've got even more cabinet space look at the size of this pantry in there goes all the way to the exterior of the slide you got your nice insignia tv and the 4777 btu electric fireplace now a space heater is 1500 btus so this is going to be three times as powerful as your standard ceramic space heater you got the nice Thomas Paine couches and furniture, and these things, they have storage all over the place. You got stuff in the sides of it, you got stuff here up in your little end tables. Coming over here, you even got it on the sides and the center of your theater seat. And one other thing you'll notice is there's USB ports and outlets everywhere in this coach. You got some here in the slide, you've got outlets behind the couch. You've even got some hidden and tucked away in your kitchen countertops. And one other awesome thing you'll notice, there's no carpet in here. So there's no chance of getting dog fur or dog hair. They use a marine grade flooring inside your slide. That's gonna be nice and easy to wipe up and clean off. And here, you've got the nice Dometic gas electric refrigerator. So these are gonna run off 110 and propane. So you can keep your stuff nice and cool when you're way out in the boonies. Why don't we go take a look up at the bedroom, all right? And up here in the bedroom, they've got some other really, really nice features up here. You've got storage all the way around the bed. You've got shirt closets up on either side, so you can hang shirts, coats, whatever. You've got above the head storage, to, you know, throw those sleeping bags that you're not gonna be using all the time. And down here, you've got this awesome little laundry chute, so you can put, you know, a hamper or a cooler full of beer, root beer down there in that pass-through storage, just to have a nice, cool, beverage at night when you're laying in bed. This 
Speaking of laying in bed, you've got USB ports and outlets up here right up next to the head of the bed. Even more of those electronic ports that I was talking about earlier. And now we're on to the most important room in the coach, the bathroom. You've got this nice corner surround shower with a skylight above it, so if you're another tall guy, not like me, you're going to have plenty of room to stand up and wash in this shower. And right here behind the sink, we've got a really nice sized medicine cabinet to keep all your toothbrushes, ibuprofen, anything like that that you're planning on bringing with you. All right, guys, so that was pretty much everything here on this 21 Premier 30 Ripper. If you want to take a closer look at that here on our lot, you can just come check us out right off Highway 6 here in Helper, Utah. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys next time.